Divine Masculine, okay? I'm seeing that you already know that union is here. It's here on the 5D and you're trying to understand what that means. Okay, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing somebody like really totally understanding and feeling it energetically already, but trying to understand what that means before you go towards your Divine Feminine. So you're kind of hesitating a bit. I'm hearing hesitation, but it's only to do more research. So hesitation to do research, okay? To research this connection, all right? Let's see, what's the situation for Divine Masculine? We got shine, okay? Your person is shining light towards this connection. You're shining as well. It's like y'all are both energetically connected. As I just said on the 5D already, this is the sun card as well. So happiness is surrounding you, even when it may not look like it. Because Divine Masculine, I'm seeing you in a more of a dark situation. It's a lot of things that need to be changed. You're fearing the change. Change is scary, but comfortability is more scary, y'all. Trust and believe me when I say that. Being comfortable is way more scary because comfortable leaves you in a cycle. You know, just like on that, that movie I was just mentioning, The Matrix. If Neo had, had chose the blue pill and decided to just go back to his bed, comfortable would have got him locked up in jail he would have been you know stripped of all his money like this is what i'm seeing for you though divine masculine i'm seeing a lot of you all dealing with a lot of legal problems a lot of you all are dealing with a lot of financial issues a lot of you all are dealing with a lot of drama and it's because you're choosing wrong and you know what the right choice is okay don't get stuck in that loop what's the action for divine masculine father what's the action darkest fears face your fears I just said that, okay? Face your fears, Divine Masculine, okay? There's a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of like muddling over this decision, a lot of, man, do I walk into this new life? This new life is scaring me. I can see it already. It's different. That means I got to change everything about myself. I got to change my material belongings. Yes, let them go. Let go of your material realm, your material world. It's not worth it to lose love. It's not worth it to lose your finances. It's not worth it to lose your health. Health is being affected as well. Mental health and physical health is being affected as well. So face your fears so you can get out of that. What's the outcome of my masculine outcome? Oh man, embrace. 21 is the world card. You might be seeing 12, 12 or 12, 21 a lot or 9, 19 or 9, 1, 9 a lot. Two, three, four on the timer as I say that. You're progressing. This is angel number showing you. Remember, like I said, the divine feminine is shining her light towards you to help you with your decision, to show you the way. So embrace it. Close out those cycles. This is embrace. This is the world card. Closing out those cycles that have kept you stuck. Complete that cycle, that karmic cycle, and move forward. Move into that new life that you've been promised, that you've been waiting for. You know, there's no reason to sit in your strict life. Everything is gone now. It's time to move forward. Embrace the world. The world is your oyster, okay? Look at that. New beginnings there too with this, with this heart at the bottom. Growing. Look at you, okay? 1221 or 1212, okay? Look at the bottom of the deck. Energy is the Wheel of Fortune card. Going with the flow of life. This is destined for you to happen. And look at this divine masculine on this card. This is destiny. You might be seeing 1010 or 1001 as well. This is destiny. I keep saying those numbers. I've been saying those numbers for weeks. Keep, go back and look at the videos. I can't make this up. 1010, 1001, 1212, 1221. If you see them flipped or whatever, they're mirrored numbers, okay? 1001 and 1010, they're mirrored each other. Y'all are both completing some cycles in order to come into union. This Wheel of Fortune card, okay? Your karmic cycle has been complete with the world card there. And Father says pull one more card, okay? Giving and receiving. It's time to get what you've been putting out. Give what you've been getting, okay? Give what you've been getting. Okay, Father, give me a purpose card for Divine Masculine today. Give me a purpose card for them today, Father. What's their purpose? Give me a... M. Rama, where are you being called to journey to? M. Rama, I'm Rama, something like that. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Not big on the pronunciation of this word, but where are you being called to journey to? Look at this beautiful card. Going with the what? The flow. Going with the flow, okay? Going with the flow. That is so amazing. And right underneath this, it says spread your wings because you're feeling hopeless right now. Helpless and hopeless is how you're feeling. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? And Father's saying, follow the light. 
Oh, y'all, I just got chills on that one. Where are you being called to journey to? Your divine feminine, follow the light. Give me an ancestor card, Father. Because I know the ancestors are definitely watching this connection, supporting this connection, trying to help get over their fears. Darkest fears, okay? Listen to your ancestors. They're giving you signs and symbols and angel numbers and everything. Everybody's hoping with this connection. Look, rebel. You're the free spirit. You're going against. Father is saying this. You're going, you're the one who, you know, you looked at the as at as the black sheep of the family. Sorry, I get so excited. I'm talking too fast. You're the black sheep of the family, but Father's saying rebel and be the free spirit you were called to be. You were given that spirit of rebellion because not to use it for bad and to be somebody that's just in the streets or doing something negative with your life. Father's saying you were given that to, to change your bloodline. These ancestors are helping you change this bloodline, change your thought process, change what's acceptable in your family when it comes down to love and life in, in life itself. That's what Father's saying, okay? Give me a, a twin flame card for Divine Masculine Father. A twin flame card. And one turned over. Look, bro, I'm conflicted about whether I have what it takes to be your partner. Look at you. Looking in the mirror at your fear. It's so much abundance here with that number eight here. But also number eight as well was here, which is helpless and hopeless. You're feeling helpless and hopeless. Okay? Because you're like, which way do I go? But Father's saying grow. It's this, this situation is helping you grow. You have what it takes. It's time to heal those insecurities within yourself. Trying to make you feel like you don't have it. Or I don't have enough money to give. I don't have enough things to give. And Father's saying he stripped you of all that because it's not about the tangible things. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Father. He stripped you of all that because it's not about the tangible things. And what you can give somebody because you kept doing something bad in order to get money. And now you don't have any money. You don't have any places, any comfort zones. And your comfort is at home. Home is where the heart is. It's time to activate that heart and really listen to it. The heart is activated. Father's saying listen to it, okay? What would you like to tell your divine feminine? Four of Pentacles. I'm afraid of losing everything I've worked for in my life, but I won't let you go. That's the point. That is the point of this, this stripping. When father takes away everything, maybe you lost some jobs. Maybe you lost a car, clothes. Uh, you might not have everything that you want to eat as far as food is concerned. Father took away everything. So you know what's left standing. This love that you have for this person and the love that they have for you. Mirroring each other, okay? That's what I have for you. You might be afraid to lose it all, but now father is taking away that fear because you lost it all. So what now? What else are you afraid of? Father saying, come forward. Tackle those fears. Where are you being called to journey to? Tackle those fears. Tackle those darkest fears. That's your action as well. Because the outcome is you closing out that cycle. Remember your action is darkest fears. Tackle those fears. Because your situation is that you're being shown the light. You're being called somewhere. That light is, is clear. So where are you being called to? Anyways, that's what I have for you, Divine Masculine. I hope this helped you. I hope it blessed you. Thank you so much for your time. Let's go to Divine Feminine. Thank you so much.